In news out of the USBI criminal courts, we learn that three men are facing DUI charges in three unrelated incidents. On St. Thomas, 57-year-old Anthony DeLugo appeared in court on Wednesday, answering to charges of driving under the influence and negligent driving. He was arrested on Monday following a collision between the vehicle he was driving and another on Emily Francis Drive. Responding officers found a damaged blue Nissan Versa and a green Chevrolet Cavalier di directly behind the Nissan. DeLugo, who was behind the wheel of the Cavalier, was found to be unable to keep his balance when asked to exit the vehicle. Although an officer noted the smell of alcohol on DeLugo's breath and his red, watery eyes, the driver said he had not been drinking. He subsequently failed two of the three standardized field sobriety tests, which were administered at the Traffic Investigations Bureau. DeLugo declined the chemical intoxicator test, after which he was placed under arrest. Investigations found that DeLugo had rear-ended the Nissan Versa when it stopped to allow a pedestrian to cross the street. In court on Wednesday, a judge ruled that DeLugo surrender his driver's license and post a $500 bail to secure his release. His license has also been suspended for 90 days. While his case is pending, DeLugo is barred from leaving the St. Thomas and John District and must report to the probation office every week. He is required to remain employed, but banned from consuming alcohol or any controlled substance, as well as from obtaining a firearm, ammunition, or a dangerous weapon. Another St. Thomas man has been slapped with charges for driving under the influence. 19-year-old Manaheim Leibert was arrested on Sunday after police responded to a report of an auto collision on Rubina G. Gutliff Drive. Police found a silver Ford Escape facing northward near a driveway, with Leibert identified as the owner and driver of the vehicle sitting nearby with his head between his legs. The other vehicle, a blue Ford Explorer registered to the Virgin Islands Police Department, was parked not too far away over the hillside. Leibert almost immediately admitted to being under the influence of a lot of rum and said that he was speeding north in a hurry to return home when he veered into oncoming traffic directly into the path of the police cruiser. Taking a moment to vomit onto the ground before continuing his story, Leibert said that the driver of the police cruiser had to swerve to avoid him and went over the hillside. Able to return to his lane, Leibert said he then reversed to where the cruiser had disappeared, exited the vehicle, and went to check on the driver. Both drivers declined the offer of medical attention. Leibert failed at least one of his standardized field sobriety tests, but was able to stand on one leg as instructed. A test of his blood alcohol content revealed a reading of 0 0.104, well over the legal limit. Leibert was then arrested. In court, his, a judge ruled that his driving privileges would be suspended for 90 days and he faces the usual release conditions, not allowed to leave the district without written authorization and required to report to the probation office every week. He must abstain from alcohol or any other controlled substance and is prohibited from obtaining a firearm, ammunition or any other dangerous weapon. Sean Olson appeared before a VI Superior Court judge on St. Croix on Monday after being arrested for drunk driving. Authorities received reports on Sunday of a vehicle driving erratically on the Melvin Evans Highway. The Black Ford Escape was observed by police swerving between southbound and northbound lanes in the midst of other drivers on the roadway. Officers were able to pull the Escape over on the Queen Mary Highway near Empire Gas Station. While speaking with Olson, who was driving, an officer noted his glassy eyes and the scent of alcohol on his person. Olson admitted that he had recently consumed five alcoholic beverages and subsequently failed all the standardized sobriety tests that were administered. Investigations revealed that he had been driving negligently since at least the West Airport Road. A test of his blood alcohol level at the Wilbur Francis Command yielded a result of 0 0.210, almost three times the legal limit. In court on Monday, a judge ruled that Olson would be allowed to post an unsecured bond of $1,000 to secure his release. Olson must remain employed and have no contact with any witnesses in the matter. Although his driving privileges will be suspended for 90 days, Olson will be granted a restricted license to travel to work and once a week to the grocery store. <laughs>